Hey guys, how is it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out my channel, what is up? I'm Amy. If you're returning, well, welcome back, guys. Please smash that like button, guys. Support my amazing channel. If you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you guys know when I go live or when I am dropping new videos. So welcome, 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 guys. I'm excited to give you guys this message. It's been a couple days since I've uploaded some videos, so... It's going to be definitely interesting to see what Divine Masculine has to say today. So let's just get started, guys. So one of the first messages I have coming through from the Divine Masculine is that he loves your lips. For some of you, you know, you've had intimacy with this person. It's a feeling of it's either they're really reminiscing on what it was like to kiss you. They're really reminiscing on what it was like to just like be intimate with you, you know, physically. You know, it, it, there's something around your lips. I don't even know if this is something that they actually, like, told you. Like, hey, I really like kissing you. I really like touching you. Um, but for some of you, it's like this Divine Muslim is really fantasizing about kissing you, fantasizing about being close with you again. Um, we've got, if I could go back in time, I would handle us differently. This Divine Muslim, if he had the chance to go back and make this work with you, I really feel like he would. He would he would do things differently. He in this period of separation or silent treatment or lack of communication with y'all, it feels like he's had time to kind of reflect on, you know, how he treated you or what he did wrong in this dynamic of this relationship or in the dynamic of the connection. And it's a feeling of, you know, I know that I wasn't the right it's not that I know that I wasn't the right person for her it's or him. It's just like back then I was unhealed. I wasn't healed yet. I had a lot of like things that were triggering me. I had a lot of things that I didn't work through. And I feel like it, it feels like it was like a, a tug of war situation where it was like, y'all couldn't get on the same frequency or vibration or wavelength. Like it just felt like, no matter how hard you push them or try to be there for them, it's a sense of like, it just pushed them further away. I know that's not going to resonate with everyone, but it's like, this person has really gone within into Harmon mode and, you know, really is reflecting on the fact that, that if they could change and go back and change how things panned out with you guys, like they wouldn't really do that. They're really regretting the fact of how they treated you or what they never said to you. Why can't I tell you the truth? I just told you that, guys. This person wants to come in. This divine master wants to come in and speak the truth today. Or whenever you see this video, it's kind of like, I want to be able to express myself to her. I want to be able to tell her the truth. I want to be able to share with her what I need to. But I honestly don't even know where to start. I don't know where to start to open up my heart to her. I don't know where to start to kind of tell her what it is that I need to tell her. What else does this Divine Masculine want? Divine Feminine to know, please, Spirit. What else does Divine Masculine want? Divine Feminine to know. I don't understand right now. For some of you, this Divine Masculine doesn't understand this connection with you. He doesn't understand why he's feeling the way that he's feeling. So he's trying to figure out truth of this connection. He's trying to figure out why he's feeling. Um, but he knows if he, he, if he could go back in time, he would. For some of you, this Divine Masculine does want to make it up to you. He knows that he needs to come back in and make this right with you. For some of you, this divine masculine will be calling you. He wants to hear your voice. He wants to talk to you. Um, I kind of feel like he just, he wants to know if, not if you're still available, but like if he calls you, will you pick up? Uh, what else does this divine masculine want to say to divine feminine, please? What else does this divine masculine want to say? Like, I feel like he's really, um, she's shifted. It feels like a shift where it's like, okay, enough is enough. I'm ready to come forward and, and, and share with her what I need to. And some of you, like going into 2024, a whole new year, this is really going to happen. For some of you, this divine masculine lacks a lot of self-confidence, a lot of self-esteem, because I have what you see in me. So it's this energy of like, I don't understand why you love me. I don't understand why you like me. I don't understand what you see in me. You know, I know that you deserve better. I know that you can get better than me. So a lot of you, this divine masculine is really like, I just don't understand what it is about me that you you want me. Maybe they've never experienced like a love like yours. Maybe they've never experienced that intensified level. I can't take it anymore. 
that's what I was just feeling a little bit ago where I said like this divine masculine's at this point where it's like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. I can't live not telling the truth. I can't live not expressing how I feel for some of you, this, this retrograde, this, you know, this shift that I've been feeling is, is this divine, divine masculine coming to terms. Like I'm going to tell her, tell divine feminine how I feel and whether or not they're, they're going to reciprocate that that's going to be totally on them. But at least I got it off my chest kind of feeling right. Um, there's more to this you are not seeing. There's a lot going on behind the scenes with this divine masculine. So he wants you to know that everything that happens for a reason. And he's starting to see that like everything in this connection has happened for a reason. But he does want love in his life. He wants to be in love again. He wants to let love in. It's not that he doesn't want to let love in. Yeah, I just said that. He wants to start fresh. He wants another chance to make this right with you. What else can Divine Masculine wanting Divine Feminine to know to you, please, Spirit? What else is Divine Masculine wanting Divine Feminine to know? What else is Divine Masculine wanting Divine Feminine to know? What else is Divine Masculine wanting Divine Feminine to know? For some of you, this Divine Masculine has suffered with a lot of childhood trauma, which, you know, could be why they're so closed off with their emotions. It's like, they have a lot of trust issues, abandonment issues. You know, there could have been like a sexual thing that happened to them. You know, it could be that they are also very triggered. So they've got a lot going on with themselves emotionally that I feel like they need to really work on. And I feel like this divine masculine is really realizing like I need counseling or I need to talk to someone. Um, I want to be right for my divine feminine. But right now, you know, maybe this is what's the best. Like for some of you, that could be like, this divine mass, this divine massman is really recognizing that he needs to get the help that he needs to get because he cannot come to his divine feminine like that. Um, so a lot of your divine masculines have suffered with something that has happened to him in their childhood, whether they express that towards you or not. Um, I feel like that that's weighing heavy on them and, and why they may be the way that they are. What else can I say with the divine masculine, please? Yeah, he feels very lonely. He's feeling very lonely without you because I felt like you you gave him something that I feel like no one else ever has. You feel devoid of something. He feels like he can't make you happy. So that could be what's going on with him right now. It's like no matter what, I, I, I feel like I'll never be able to make her happy. This may be why he's trying to figure out the truth of how he's feeling and the truth of this connection with you. What else does divine masculine want divine feminine to know? He wants to be the man. He wants to be the provider. He wants to be the one that, you know, is taking care of you financially, you know, taking care of you, providing for you, protecting you, loving on you. And, but it's like right now it's hard for him to do any of that right now because I feel like he's, he's just not quite there yet. And then we have some, for some of you, the divine masculine has thought about having a baby with you. And then I will be reaching out to you to reconnect soon. I realized the only thing I ever needed was you. So for some of you, this divine masculine is literally saying like, I know that this is where I want to be with you. It feels right to be with you. It feels like, you know, I finally found a place I can call home. I finally found a place that I can be myself and, you know, have a family and, and build on that. And like, it just feels like he knows that you're someone that like, he doesn't want to lose. So I feel like he wants to reach out to you and kind of share that with you. I had to lose you to realize another hands on you. I can't deal with your mind. For some of you, this divine masculine's like, you know, the time apart, he goes into this like overthinking mode where it's like, who is she with? Or, you know, what are they doing? And I feel like the thought of you being with anyone else is making this person maybe even physically sick. My stupidity, I treated you poorly. Please forgive me. This, this divine masculine wants forgiveness because he know he didn't treat you um, the way that you deserved, um, you deserve to be treated like a queen. You deserve to be treated like a goddess. Um, especially after everything that divine feminine has been through. And I feel like he's realizing how strong you are and how maybe how he's dealt with other people in the past. He couldn't do that with you, but I can't help the way that I feel, but I would say that this divine, this divine masculine is really feeling, really feeling divine feminine right now. Um, for some of you, your divine masculine just wants you happy. For some of you, your divine masculine may think you're in another relationship or another connection. So I feel like with the message there is that, you know, they are truly happy for you if that's the case. Anything else the divine masculine would like to say to divine feminine, please? Anything else the divine masculine would like to say to divine feminine, please? These feelings are eating me alive. For some of you, like I said, this divine masculine is so in his feelings right now that it's starting to really take a toll 
He feels like no one in his life has ever understood him but you. You're the one person he felt like he could really open up to and really express, you know, his, his deepest, darkest secrets, I heard. <clears throat> he says, I am stuck in visions of us together. So he does think of visions of you guys together. And right now, whatever's going on with him, like, he doesn't feel that light anymore. It feels really dark without you. It feels really lonely without you. So I definitely feel like he he's realizing where he wants to be. It's just a matter of time of, you know, him, him coming forward with <clears throat> being able to speak that, right? All right, guys. <clears throat> if that resonates, hit that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Let me know in the comments, and I will talk to you guys soon.